Everybody had a hard year Nobody got their pay What a time for the lonely ones Thought every dog had its day What a time for the wicked The hungry Oh hey everyone, afraid. welcome back uh, to Winterfell Camp Matt from the woods, if you don't know me Well, we're Saturday afternoon Uh I've been sleeping on and off all day. I'm doing this in portrait style because I don't really feel like breaking out the other camera. Uh, wake up to severe thunderstorm uh, uh, watches. Um, nothing major yet. Um, I'm not seeing anything where they're saying like possibility of tornadoes or any of that stuff. So hopefully, uh, hopefully it doesn't uh, graduate to that. Um, We'll take a walk out to the to the road here in a minute. I'm just uh, finishing up a coffee. Definitely suddenly cooled down. So cold front, just a quick cold front's coming through with this uh, thunderstorm. But anyway, these thunderstorms here um, were predicted. So I'm not surprised. Uh, let's go get a quick view of them. Well, view of them. Doesn't sound that nice, eh? Let's switch you guys around. Hang on. Let's take a walk out to the road. These shouldn't turn uh, anything more than severe, if that shouldn't. But we're definitely getting something. We had a power outage last night, but nothing really happened here. But, uh, oh yeah. Yeah. Just thought I'd let that car go by instead of talk, trying to talk over it. Yeah, the bus is still here. <laughs> Nobody biting on it yet. Somebody out there wants that bus. I just haven't found them yet. So just little rumbles of thunder. So directly south of here, because my road runs north and south, conveniently. Um, so that's going back towards Perth. So this is one of those things I've talked about before where um, the weather either skips over top of us or it'll come right at us or over top of us to Calabogie or beneath us uh, at uh, south of us um, for Perth. So anyway. Definitely going to get something, but I mean, as you can see, I mean, there's my laneway. I mean, it's just been raining and raining. My dad said this was going to happen, eh, when, uh, with the climate change, and he said that. Hang on. Ah, I'll keep going this way. My dad said that, like in the 70s, when he was trying to teach us kids about climate change. Now, my dad wasn't one of these people that said, well, it's humans, it's this, it's that. We're all part of it. And we're all part of the Earth's uh, ecosystem. And the planet never sits at rest. It never has. It never will. Uh, you know, four and a half billion years ago, it was a, just a big molten uh, rock. You know. <laughs> so, you guys get the idea, you know, that things don't change. You can call it climate change all you want. But it's, uh, and it is. Except that that's a natural thing with the planet. So... Anyways, but he did say, we'll get back to that part, he did say that uh, um, um, that it would become kind of like subtropical here, like super hot days like we've been getting. Hang on a minute. Super days that like we've been getting and... Uh, um, 
uh, blah, blah, blah. uh, you know, like lots of rain, heat, humidity, and it would become kind of like a tropical. Well, I'll tell you, I've never seen the bush. I don't want to say I haven't seen it greener, but boy, oh boy. I mean, look behind me, you know, this is as green and uh, I've had to, <laughs> like, hang on a minute. I'll switch you guys back again. I mean, I'm living in a jungle this year. <laughs> Woo. Now we can get a little louder. Now this is where you go back to the trailer because uh, lightning bolts, as you can see, that's my tree that was hit by a lightning bolt and vaporized by two nesting uh, bald eagles, George and Gracie. That's happened a few years ago. I've spoke about it before. I still get upset when I think about it because I really miss those two birds. <laughs> Never thought I would ever be kind of friends with a couple of bald eagles. <laughs> You know, it's just not something you think about, but George and Gracie were something special. Seems like I always get lucky with animals here. I've always seems to get special animals, raccoons, cats. I have another cat running around here. That's another story. See what I mean? It's just, you know, thick. So... Anyway, there'll be no fires, obviously too hot. Not gonna go sit in the tent. Oh, did we get several drops of rain already or is that just still wet from? No, that's fresh. I guess we got a little sprinkle while I was inside, but I mean, it's dark. I, I don't know if the phone accurately um, reflects that or not, so. Usually I got a good feel for these things in the bush where I know if the weather's gonna be like, okay, we need to start thinking about serious cover like I did the last time. Fortunately, um, wasn't a tornado that set down near my here. I'm an idiot out there, I ended up blocking him. He's like, hey, tornado can't go 20 miles, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, yeah? <laughs> you go on YouTube and go look at these tornadoes that go on the ground in the States. They go for 50, 60 miles. It's insane. So you're an idiot who, I don't remember your name. I blocked you. So you'll never see this. But, um, yeah, don't, don't ever try and pick, predict tornadoes. And the, I don't think the other thing is he realizes that I've been through tornadoes. I spent my summers in Michigan, okay? Southern Michigan with my grandparents. Southern Michigan. Anybody that's from Michigan, you know, Wayne County, Washtenaw County, all those areas. Might be time to get away from my big uh, metal tower. <laughs> it's getting louder. But, uh, you know, like, Jesus, man. In the summertime, like every other weekend or every other day, there was tornado warnings, alerts, everything. I get on the phone with my uncle. I get on the phone with my uncle. You know, and he lived in Dexter, which was outside of Ann Arbor. And I mean, we'd be on the phone and he'd be like, oh, you could hear the TV in the background. Meh, 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 tornado warning, blah, 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 blah. And the last time we spoke on the phone, when he was still living by himself before he got sick, um, he w he had just gone through a tornado. And uh, thanks to Google, I was able to go see, you know, where the damage was and everything. And it didn't hit his place, but everywhere around him. But I was on the phone with him when the tornado hit. So anyways, so that idiot that was saying that to me, he's like, you don't know shit, man. I have been through them. So am I a experience of somebody from El uh, Oklahoma or Tennessee or, uh, or uh, Ohio or any of these places? No, I'm definitely not. But in the last few years here uh, in Eastern Ontario, Particularly this year, we, we've seen a lot of big uptick 
for uh, bad storms and stuff like I you know we're all talking about it out here this is uh, the weirdest weather we've had like every time you go to see the weather report like on the weather network I think that's what it's called the one that's yellow and blue and uh, it keeps saying like East Ontario East Ontario East Ontario I'm like holy crap I've never seen so much uh, you know stuff saying yeah it's gonna be bad into from Bancroft to here to there you know Usually it's south of here, like Kingston, you know, going back towards Toronto, down in southern Ontario. I mean, like Michigan, they, you know, they get whacked pretty good down there and always have. But here, no, but this all changed. Long rumbles, eh? Well, I don't know how much I'm going to film. I got like 10 minutes already. I guess I'll come back when uh, when I have more to say. Uh, um, Yeah, so there we go. You guys can hear that. We saw, you know, the dark clouds. The rumbles are far away. They sound uh, northwest of here, which would be up uh, Joe's Lake, Levant Station. Of course, if you're not from around here, you have no idea. Danielle, I guess, uh, Daniel, I guess uh, you're probably over at the lodge, Sylvania. I don't think you're in a tent over there, are you? You must be in a trailer. Obviously, yeah, what am I saying? So at least you've got something metal over your head instead of... Sounds weird to thunder. It's just steady. You guys hear that? We had a place, uh, sorry, um, we had a place in uh, Livonia, Michigan, which is kind of like west of Detroit, but like a suburb of Detroit. Um, anyways, back then it wasn't hardly a place. Yeah, that's definitely getting closer. I want to be out here. I'm no storm chaser. <laughs> the mosquitoes are suddenly decided they found me. I was supposed to take the boat out today to test the motor. Obviously, I'm not going down to a lake in this weather, and I knew it was coming, and for some reason, it sounds like the rain's gonna come down. My chair so it doesn't get wet. I still haven't fixed the awning problem where it leaks behind me. Gotta work on that. 
And yet, with every storm, and I'll say it again the hundredth time, uh, that tent, that old Coleman Easy Up, as dry as a popcorn fart inside. Still can't believe it. And I haven't even got the, uh, you know, the, the two of, like the side there, that's supposed to stick out. The poles are in a box somewhere. I gotta find them. That's really dark over there. Obviously, I'm not gonna be able to stand out in the rain, but uh, can I get a shot of it? One last quick walk out towards the road. And then I'll shut this down and upload it right away. I won't bother with thumbnails and all that crap. Oh yeah. Right, you don't go near metal places. <laughs> and this place, for whatever reason, just constantly gets Lightning strikes, as I was saying about the tree with the eagles there earlier. Well, here we go. I needed to clean that up today. I got to get those tarps put away. That battery put somewhere so I can take it to the uh, special plate. The special. Actually, I think I'm supposed to bring that in the Canadian Tire and get money back or some damn thing. Anyways. Uh, Ooh, the mosquitoes suddenly get thick here. I think it's garbage dump time, so that's why there's traffic. I don't need to go there today. Yeah, this doesn't seem like anything more than just a regular old Thunder Boomers. Now, I haven't gone inside to check the... Uh, yeah, there's no red alert on the, I got the, um, you know, the thing, the weather network thing sitting up there. Well, I'm going to go back inside. Well, uh, let's shut this down for now. Uh, and up. I'll, I'll uh, be back after filming if there's anything new to, to report or whatever. So there you go. Um, that's it, no more to say. So other than please like, share, and subscribe, and uh, you know, all that stuff. And if you wanna help me out, support my work or whatever, well, you know, you know where to go. PayPal.com, lad from the woods. Liking, sharing, subscribing, though, is the best way. And uh, yeah, we're up to 415 users, so that goes straight out to Digger. Because he's uh, always saying, we're getting to 420. I'm like, our number, pal. That's our number, eh, Dig? 420. All right. Anyway, peace. Sorry, what do I do? That's not in order. i got to do it in order. Be good to your fellow human. Peace, long life, and live long and prosper. Well, See you guys soon. Bye. The car is on its way. Somebody call the cat in. We don't need another straight. If everybody had an answer, nobody would have to wait. What a time for the wretches. The hero never came. There ain't nobody out there like us. There ain't no two stones the same. I got you